All right, I just wanted to go over installing Whisper because it's very easy. Uh, Whisper for ham radio. So um, this is my little folder of uh, radio software install files, and here's Whisper. So I'm just going to double click on Whisper to get us started. And you can't see this, but I have to give it permission. All right, so here's our welcome to Whisper setup. Click next. It wants a root directory like C colon slash Whisper. So I'm going to allow it to do that. It wants that because it needs some special level permissions. It says sometimes it needs that those permissions, so I'm going to leave it right where it wants to go. And uh, start my new folder, fine. And we click install. And that's all there was to the installing. So I click finish, and it just gave me a, a desktop shortcut here. So I'm just going to open up Whisper. And it takes a second. This command prompt uh, kind of hangs here for a few seconds, um, especially the first time. So just be patient with this thing. and. It'll get the program loaded up. All right, now the very first time that we start Whisper, we're going to get this empty station parameters box. You can always come back to this, but for right now, we need to fill out some details. Let's start with my call, my grid square. Now, audio in and out, I'm on my laptop right now, so I don't have my USB sound card that I use for the radio but it would be in this list and we have here a couple outputs that I have. So let's say I select the micro, oops, inputs rather. So let's say I select the microphone. Let's say I select the speakers for output. Of course, these would be USB sound card in and out if you're using a signal link. Um, power and DPM, DBM, if you mouse over this drop down arrow, it'll tell you what that DBM number means. 37 means five watts, so we'll leave it there. Um, but they're only specific selections. So like 37 is 5 watts, 40 is 10 watts, and 43, I believe, is 20. Um, so you only have certain specific selections. Now, PTT method, this uh, defaults to DTR for me, um, but for most people, it's going to be CAT. If you're using that signal link, though, it's Vox. So if your name is Gary and you're seeing this on January 16th, 2015, because you have a signal link you're trying to connect, let's use Vox. And therefore, the PTT will be there. just what we need as a Reggie. All right, so one of the things we want to enable the cat because that allows it to change the frequency on its own because that's very helpful to, you to have it change the frequency. So if we go to cat port, select the cat port that you're on. I believe it's COM3. And the rig, you can go ahead and select. And there's going to be a lot of icons in here. Um, IC707 is not listed so we'll have oh no it is listed there we go 312 icom is icom 707 so we go ahead and select that up baud rate all the same stuff you did before i left these data and stop bits at their default numbers um it looks like they don't have a whole lot of options so hopefully their defaults are okay and handshake i left it default none seemed to work fine anyway so this is a station parameter so all we did was we filled out call sign and grid square things that are transmitted we set the audio inputs and outputs, in your case, to the USB sound card. We set, left the power level where it was. PTT went to Vox. We enabled the cat, set the port that we know, just put in the rig number so we, have, uh, we know what options are available to the rig, and we set up the serial rate. And these last ones, the serial rate that we definitely have, um, these last ones we left alone. Okay, so we'll close station parameters. Now, in this window, what we're looking at, there are a couple options, three options here that you want to set before you start, three or, three or four, depending. So first, uh, this idle. <clears throat> this just um, disengages the whole program while you first work on it and first get it set up. It defaults to idle on the first time, and after that, you can uncheck it like that, and it'll turn back to gray. That's the default, and then the program is active. So I'm going to go ahead and keep idling mine while we talk about this. You definitely should check this upload spots. That's kind of the whole point of this program is that if anyone, if you receive anyone else, you should upload them in their call sign so they know that they were heard by you. So you should check that. Then this TX fraction is basically your duty cycle, and you will always transmit in two-minute increments on the even-numbered minutes. So starting here, on my case, in 30 seconds, it would start. So 20% uh, seems to be fairly typical. Some people are down in the 10% range. Um, but you could run it higher if you want. I wouldn't suggest running it any higher than 33, maybe even 40% until you really know your rig and that it's going to work and it's all squared away. Now, last thing is let's look at the band dropdown. 
This is how you're going to change frequency. Don't try to dial up frequencies. Don't try to look up the whisper frequencies. Just allow this to change frequency for you. Because watch when I click 20 meters. Uh, when I click 20 meters, there is some little error, but I have never seen that before. So uh, I don't know. Okay, let's try a different one. Oh, it's probably saying it doesn't have cat connection. Uh, because I'm not connected to an actual radio. If you are, and here, actually, let me just turn off my cat connection so that you can see what it looks like when I change band, but you will leave your cat connection turned on. So if I click 20 meters, these frequencies will change now. Now we're in the 40 meter or 20 meter frequencies. Or if I go to, let's say, 80 meter frequencies, there's 3.592, 3.5941. So those will change on your radio simultaneously if the cat connection is working. If not, stop and, and get the cat sorted out so that you can use the cat connection. You don't want to be trying to dial these up on your own. So once you have this stuff set, so again, we went through the, the, the parameters and got those all squared away. And then we clicked upload spots. We set the band and we set the TX fraction that we want. Then you can uncheck this idle. And uh, on when an even numbered minute starts, it may transmit depending on how often you have it set. Obviously, 20 minutes would give you once every 10 minutes. 50 minutes would give you once every four minutes. 33 uh, would give you once every six minutes. So to give you an idea. And then, uh, um, oh, you can always hit TX next, and that will force it, no matter where it is in its cycle, it will force it to transmit on the next, two, uh, next available two-minute block. So that should be everything about setting up Whisper. Again, uh, I turned off this this cat stuff uh, just so I could show you how it changes frequencies. But if you're connected to an actual radio and it's working, you should have no problem with that. So you should set those up. Okay, that's it. And good luck with Whisper.